it's that time again to read an article. And this time it involves none other than Mr. Beast. This man launched his brand new company Lunchly and then less than 24 hours later got a lawsuit from the people he horribly treated. Coincidence? I think not. So without further ado, let's investigate. So let's dive in. Mr. Beast and Amazon sued by contestants on Beast Games competition show with allegations including sexual, sexual harassment and chronic mistreatment. Lawsuit on behalf of five unnamed participants and seeks class action status. All right, let's let's check it out. A lawsuit against YouTuber star Mr. Beast and Amazon has been filed on behalf of five unnamed contestants in the Beast Games reality competition show, alleging they were subjected to chronic harassment, sexual harassment, and more. Uh, the complaint was filed on Monday, September 16th the launch date of Lunchly in, in the LA Supreme Court. The lawsuit alleges multiple cases of action related to the chronic mistreatment uh, and neglects suffered by participants in Beast Games, a reality competition show ordered by Amazon Prime Video in which more than 1,000 participants compete for a single $5 million cash prize. The suit claims Beast Games has a $100 million budget. The lawsuit seeks class action status on behalf of all affected Beast Games contestants. The suit demands that Amazon and Mr. Beast company pay alleged unpaid wages and expenses and that the defendants be ordered to pay unspecified uh, punitive uh, monetary damages reached by uh, vir why can't I read today? Reached by Variety representatives for Amazon and Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jamie Donaldson, uh, they declined to comment. Of course they did. According to the lawsuit, Amazon Mr. Beast's MRB 2024 production company and independent production film firm of One's Base LLC, among other things, failed to pay minimum wages and overtime, failed to prevent uh, SH uh, created con conditions that subjected contestants to, in quotations, infliction of emotional distress. Damn. Did not provide participants uh, uninterrupted meal breaks or rest breaks and exposed contestants to dangerous circumstances and conditions as a condition as a condition of, of their employment. Why am I stuttering so hard? The first round of the show with more than 2,000 was shot from July 18th to, to, to the July 22nd at Las Vegas' Allegiant Stadium. The 1,000 participants who made it through the Las Vegas competition moved on to the next round, shot in Toronto in August. While participants knew upon signing the contract at the production's inception that they were facing a potentially long and challenging competition, they alleged getting a lot more than they bargained for. Attorneys for the Anonymous Beast Games contestants said in a statement about the lawsuit, in quotation marks, several contestants ended ending up hospitalized while others reported suffering physical and mental complications while being subjected to chronic mistreatment, degradation, and for the female contestants, hostile working conditions. That is not a good sign. According to the lawsuit, Beast Games participants were deprived of medical care, food, sleep, and the ne necessities of basic hygiene. Portions of the lawsuit are redacted including some of the details involving the SH allegations. The plaintiffs, in quotation marks, the plaintiffs have filed this action using uh, that thing. <laughs> Why can't I read today? And applying uh, conservative, conservative redactions that limit public viewing in a good faith effort to comply with defendants' overbroad confidentiality <laughs> provisions, which plaintiffs allege are unenforceable, as well as to pr preserve the confidenti confidentiality and privacy interests of the plaintiffs who wish to avoid that. <laughs> the lawsuit states, <laughs> uh, the lawsuit seeks to establish a pattern of SH. Uh, according to the attorneys uh, representing the five plaintiffs. For example, the complaint cites instructions from an alleged How to Succeed in Mr. Beast production employee handbook that includes this. Uh, if talent wants to draw uh, if, if they want to draw that on the whiteboard in the video or do something stupid, let them really do everything you can to empower the boys when filming and help them make content. Help them be idiots. That is crazy. That is so crazy. 
Like, why would you let them draw that? <laughs> That, that, that is my that's my that's what my mind goes to immediately why would you let them draw that uh, anyways one of the female plaintiffs in the complaint identified only as contestant five you know to stay anonymous and all that stuff uh, uh, I wanted to join because I was a fan of mr. Beast and his videos it made me smile during the COVID-19 pandemic I expected to be challenged but I didn't think I would be treated like nothing less than nothing damn and as one of the women, I can say it absolutely felt like a hostile environment for us. We honestly could not have been respected less as people, much less employees, if they tried. According to the lawsuit, Beast Games producers created working conditions that jeopardized the safety of workers, including by not providing sufficient food or drink, not providing adequate medical staff on site, and not providing reasonable medical care, forcing them not to sleep, and forcing them to participate in games that unreasonably risk physical and mental injury. As extreme as the allegations against defendants are here, the law could not be more clear, said Robert uh, uh, Pafundi of Pafundi Law Firm, a lead counsel for the plaintiffs. He says here, participants entered into contracts and they were promised a compensation for their services. Their expectation of compensation, along with them being consistently under the control and super, super, uh, supervision of the production staff, makes them employees under California law. As such, they were entitled to and denied certain pr protections. And when you add to that the extreme neglect, degradation, harassment, and inhumane conditions, it's quite simply a massive uh, de derelection of duty for which the defendants must and will now be held accountable. Finally, uh, <laughs> it was a release date for Beast Games on Prime Video has not yet been announced. Amazon has uh, uh, tooted it. I guess that means they delayed it as the... W Oh, oh, as the world's large, largest live game show. I, I, I think that's the means like they called it the world's largest live game show. So that, I, th I think this word means a tagline. R uh, learn more English words with me, I guess. <laughs> with the biggest simple single prize in the history of television and streaming. So Donaldson, 26, is the biggest YouTuber, YouTuber in the world. He has 360 million subs to his main YouTube channel, the most of any individual creator. Mr. Beast has garnered a massive fan base through his videos featuring outrageous stunts and big money giveaways. His most viewed video on YouTube today is his 2021 reenactment of Squid Game, which replicated elimination challenges from the hit Netflix show when the winner uh, was awarded 456k. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the article. This is definitely one of the most long-awaited lawsuits probably ever. I mean, at least for me. I mean, there, there's some stuff in that article that I already knew about, uh, you know, when it comes to the whole like, oh, uh, plaintiffs were physically and mentally injured and, you know, they were not compensated. But I did not know anything about drawing dicks or somewhere like I did not know any of that. Where did that come from? Who who thought that was a good idea? And most importantly, why did Jimmy barely supervise any of this? I feel like this could have been easily salvaged if Jimmy had like like told the people who worked on the show to like make a safe working environment because goddamn that sounds like a freaking nightmare. So yeah, Jimmy is definitely in the hot seat now and I really hope something actually gets done this time. Peace. <laughs>